It's time to go. Oh, shit, shit, shit. The army's gone, my friend. How the hell do we do this without the army around? What is that shit, man? You're looking at blood plague. Once you catch it, you just burn up from the inside. Fuck! Fucking bite or bit me! Fuck! It was a person once. I don't have the strength. I'm sorry. I hope you're in a better place now. Out of gas. I guess we better start scavenging. More fuel won't help us now. The way that blood plague is progressing, your friend won't last long without a place to rest. I vote we listen to the doctor. We have to find a place to settle down. Now. For once, the army and I agree. It's time to get off the road and find a home. Some place we can build what we need to keep your friend from dying. I think I spotted a possible home site as we came through town. Let's check it out. We're too exposed out here to stay for long. I feel like shit. Fucking plague zombies. G'day, I'm Grand Omega, and welcome to State of Decay 2. Long away to follow up for from State of Decay 1. Uh, God, I'm new to this. Well, nerves and everything. Anyway, so started off off in the valley this time. I tested it out, made sure it all worked with the uh, foothills, and so yeah, thought I'd do something different. Not sure what to expect, so here's hoping. <laughs> so far it seems like they've um, successfully expanded upon everything that made uh, the first State of Decay great. Oops. What on earth was that clicking? Weird. We could make a comfortable base there. Let's clear out the Zeds and have a closer look. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a shame. Whoops. Yeah, 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 securing the building's done the standard way. Uh, annoyingly, it seems that all of the start off homes are the same. Actually, maybe not. The foothills, I don't remember this shed being there, so. A little patience and elbow grease. This might make a solid home. So, hopefully, they haven't taken too much of a shortcut. Whoops. Oops, I missed one. <laughs> yeah, enter every room, yada yada yada. It's clear, but where's the last one? Wait, what? Where is explored? Ah, oh, so that does include the shed. There's nothing in here that we can't take down. Well, at least it means that this. Or does it mean the shed? What on earth did I miss? Whoa! Oof. And that was one of those plague zombies. Dealing with a lot of them. No, it is the shed. So is the door at the back here then? Of course it's off on the other side. Still got some dead folks out and about. Oh really? Watch 
Uh, oop. Hello, that one runs. Is that it? Nope, there's one banging on the gate. We found a spot that should work well as our new home base. Nice work. Once you claim the site, my patient and I will meet you there. Claim. What? Oh yeah, standard warning. I reckon that was another zombie noise then as well. Treat this illness and eventually make the cure. Unfortunately, we don't have all the resources we need to do this. God, where are they all coming from? Oh, there's more where that came from. <laughs> no, there's one on the marker, that yellow point. Okay, I'm out. Just, pff, wrong way, idiot. That way. <laughs> it's far from safe, really, because of those fences. Oh, well, whatever. What? It doesn't include the garage? Aww. <laughs> what have we got? Nope, that's not what I need. Infirmary. Oh, bugger. And that will clear that space up for that. Godspeed. Oop, stuck up gear. Got extra weapons that I need. So there is still a hell of a lot of travel time in this, and what I'll probably do is just speed up most of it. Uh, that looks like it. Ooh, seven space backpack. Small, standard, and large ones have eight slots. Not overly impressive, but oh well, better than no better than nothing. <laughs> Oop, there goes the trash. Of course, we can't build anything yet. This is definitely worth searching. Uh, search it when I get back down. I feel like passing out. Surveying is still all the same. Oh, check out those wheels. That place would make for one hell of an outpost. That could be useful. And it's interesting, the outposts, more of them, blah, most of them have uh, special bonuses, so I'd be able to point that out with the signal tower. Oh no, there we go, on the top left. The orange writing there, signal booster, that's what, what? Creepy garage, interesting. That's the one we came in. Hopefully there's a car not too far away. Uh, but yeah, the orange writing up on the top left is the boost that this uh, current thing will give if you turn it into an outpost. So signal booster presumably means that you can talk longer range? I don't know. <laughs> or it could help with the uh, cross-community thing because you can have, what, three communities in the different places? It's that interesting how they've done works. that. I'll be pretty what exactly is that? Ah, there we go. Plague Heart. We'll find out with that uh, in a bit. At least that's a car not 
It's an ambulance. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Nothing more to see here. Sweet. Now, don't fall off. There we go. No, don't climb that one, you idiot. No, around here. So in terms of end game with the first state of decay you had, oh get out of get out of town, or at least that was the breakdown mode. With this I'm not entirely sure whoop. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, end game is going to be. Because ultimately, um, the characters do talk about uh, clearing out all the play cards, but considering the sen the setting, I'd be surprised if it's just a case of, oh, clear them all and then you're done, you're safe. That'd be uh, quite a surprise if that's the case. Oh, there we go, there's a plague zombie. So ultimately, I'm sort of new new all this, so please uh, give some well creative or um, helpful feedback. Not creative, I can't think of the right word. Gruesome. Uh, yeah, that's our house up there. So yeah, am I talking enough? Are the sound levels all right? Uh, did a bit of testing, so I think the sound levels are all right, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Hell, main reason I'm doing all all this is to to try and build up the confidence. I've loved to toying around with voices and no, we don't. Shut up. <laughs> I love toying around with voices and and acting and all that sort of thing, but the confidence has just plummeted. So I've just struggled to keep us a put on voices. I'm hoping that ultimately this will help with that confidence. Was that a Molotov? Ooh, I'll hang on to that. Uh, wait, what did I just bring back? Are you kidding me? I thought I brought back. Was that am? Oh. Of course. Of course it wasn't what I was looking for, because I wasn't focusing. Um, that's that. Now mind you, we might be able to find some fuel, which would be all good. So I'll head this way. Yeah, part of it is surrounded by bloody barbed wire. Jeez. Oh, this should have some food. Or chemicals. Interesting. Okay, that was way too loud. Chunk of honey. Oh shit, where did he come from? <laughs> Good grief. No, you don't. I reckon they talk a bit much. Damn it. Much time before they get here. Solder out. Oh no, it's out the front. The idiot's just standing there. <laughs> now he's beating on the door. Oh, that's mid mids. So that's <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> well, everything seems calm here. Oh, there's a container. Looks empty to me. 
So there you go, here's a different one. If this was an outpost up in the top left, you, you gain two beds for the uh, community. Yeah, for the community. <laughs> Words. Where on earth? Oh. Nothing more to see. Ah, bugger. That would have been helpful uh, if that was fuel. Of course, what I can do for the short term as well is... Ooh, ammo... Bleh. Okay. <laughs> mm, God damn it. Ooh, bullets. Oh no, he doesn't know where I am. Alright, fine. Uh, where the hell is that car? Must be up around the bend. Yeah, it's at the end of the street. God damn it. Because I was going to say I could dump the uh, mids into that. And then come back later for the car. Thank you. Really? The damn thing has a can of gas in its boot. Oh gee, we're out of gas. We better not check the boot for some more. We better just make a house. <laughs> God damn it. Video game logic, yay! <laughs> Anyone who's played the first uh, State of Decay will know sort of how light and bouncy the bloody vehicles were. In this, they're a bit more heavy. <laughs> they actually stick to the road. They don't bounce off the moment you hit a, hit a dent or a ditch. Oh, two walkers. I hope nothing heard that. I hope they did. <laughs> there we are. Damn lucky. Where's the last container? There we go. Oh, cool. And another one. Oh, damn it. Where should you put it? Do you want me to answer that? <laughs> so there's an example. So this place can become an outpost. Let's look somewhere else. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> so as you can see, there's no orange writing up at the top left to say uh, what bonuses this would give as an outpost. So this is one of the few spots where it's an outpost for the sake of being an outpost. It doesn't actually give you anything. Whoa, hang on. Can't get through there. And of course, you can still flappy door. Whoops, hang on. That's the house. Yeah, through the fence. Don't matter. <laughs> so, whoops. Forward to touch. Oh, don't tell me that gate's not going to open. Crap. So, one of the... Whoops, that's not it. Oh, you can upgrade the vehicles. Check this out. So I can turn the Palato into a smash wagon. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Now, trunk. So you see how none of that has disappeared? In the original game, or the first State of Decay, the moment you pull into a parking spot... All of the bags are automatically deposited. And so on. That's helpful. 
So unless I am missing something, which I'm sure people will tell me pretty quickly. Uh, can build simple facilities, etc, etc. Oh yeah, might as well do that before I transfer the rest of the stuff. Uh, I've got enough for outdoor beds as well. Infirmary. Or continue we getting some. Radio what the? Searches mm. for things we need. Okay, that's one of the few. What? Oh god. Okay, so that's something else to explain. Uh, one of the few visual glitches that I've noticed is those bloody doors. They're closed, but they look open. Now, the radios, you actually get, uh, just like with the original game, you get to call in commands, but it is O. And here you go. Cost influence, free to volunteer into someone else's you game. You also want to think about recovering the car we abandoned. It's still perfectly drivable if you can refuel it. It's already in the driveway. <laughs> Not that bright. Oh, yeah, the prepper pack stuff. What? Uh, an embarkation, but it costs all of that. That is perfectly fine. I'll leave that for now. Uh, you got supply drops, so I got the ultimate edition, so there's stuff to drop in. Won't bother with that for the moment. And then you can locate stuff, like survivors and whatnot. And here's one. If you're stuck, you get a get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> so at least they thought of that. Uh, but yeah, so with the cars uh, in the first game, you pull into a parking spot, it all gets deposited. Now, unless I'm missing something, which you guys will know, tell me about, uh, yeah, you got to do it by hand, which is a real pain. Optional, optional. What do you mean optional? I've already got the car here. Jeez. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Who on earth said that? Because that didn't sound like uh, either of the people we've got. Hmm. Again with the glitchy door. So there's probably a few of you wondering uh, about the blood played plague thing. Uh, don't worry about that. Well, it'll be explained as part of the uh, part of the story-ish sort of thing, I guess. <laughs> Wait, repair damage. Oh, yeah. Master bedroom. Build that and it makes people happy. Two extra beds and a morale bonus. So you can see up on the top uh, left there, the home status stable. If people get depressed and unhappy, then things start going bad. Presumably people start fights and all that sort of thing. Uh, scavenging runs, increases chances of survival. Yeah. yeah, all that is, is... Yeah. Interact. Yes. I've got to work out how to turn that off, because it repeats over and over and over again. So much, so annoying. Okay, that's the car finally bloody clear. Uh, until the infirmary is built. I just saw an unfriendly face. Say your prayers, asshole. Alrighty then. I'm guessing that wanker jumped over the wall. Uh, back to this. Really? It said 50... S uh, whatever. It's probably because someone without the crafting skills put it together. Hmm. Probably some stuff right here. Might as well have a look. Hmm. So much for all that. Once 
you give me the go ahead, I can start treating his symptoms. Ah, excellent. So we go into here, infirmary, and stabilize blood, pl pl blood plague. So there you go. Anyone with blood plague, you don't exactly cure them right off the bat. You just stop them from turning into a zombie. Then eventually you can make the cure, but otherwise, uh, yeah. If it takes too long to get a cure, then you've got to put them down. Damn, it's locked. I gotta watch the noise. There was nothing you could do about that. Shut up. Ah, here we go. This will start with the... Whoever that is, they probably know a lot about this area. We could use a friend like that. See if they can help us find more meds. We need them to treat our patient until we can make the cure. <laughs> yes, there are still enclaves. And yes, they could become enemies in the first game, but... <laughs> I never got to that point. I never realized until starting this up that, oh yeah, you could make them enemies. What else have we got? Seeds, ethanol. Thankfully food doesn't seem to be much of an issue at, the, at least at the start. Nice. <laughs> Case in point. And it's actually labeled with different things. It is food. But as you can see, satchel of rice. Maybe something else that'll say, like, um, you ro you go in a, I was about to say rob a pizza store. <laughs> you go scavenge at a pizza store, you might find uh, plenty of dough. Or some pizzas or something like that. And it'll be a bag of pizzas or a bag of toppings or all, all that sort of shit. So there's just that little bit more uh, realism, really. They made a nice start, and then uh, they've expanded upon it. What is that? I didn't see that before. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so looking at the time, I will put a cut in here, or leave it for now. Um, I don't know how much uh, of the walking I'll take out, or speed up, or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I would really appreciate some feedback, let me know how I'm doing, am I talking enough, am I loud enough, am I not talking enough, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but next episode we will go check out the neighbour Remy. And that will start explaining about the blood plague and those plague zombies that are running around. And actually, I need to heal a little bit. Wow, that was a fair bit of health. Awesome. Alright, so thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for the next video. Later.